Welcome to Business Talk, the online series where we delve into the latest trends and developments in the world of business uh, and uh, how digital transformation is reshaping business. Now, today we're excited to have uh, Neo Pukudje, who is a managing executive of Converge Communications at BCX Wireless, joining us to talk about the impact of wireless access technologies on society today and how business can leverage these technologies to create value. Uh, no, great to have you on the show. Let's dive in. When we look at the impact of wireless access technologies on society today, it's everywhere from the way we communicate to entertainment. What would you say are the big impacts of wireless access technologies on society? Thank you, Michael. I think for me, the, the biggest impact on wireless technologies on society has been really, really around how we it impacts on the way that we do things, right? So if we look at businesses today, a lot of the way in which they're used to working has gone to be quite different from what we're used to. So for example, we're finding that a lot and lot more of the work that's being done by employees is done not necessarily at the work site itself, but you can work anywhere really uh, in the time. The other way is that we're finding that a lot of the work that's actually happening, even within the businesses themselves, are situated more towards the edge uh, and closer to, to the actual environment, as opposed to the previous structure where we had uh, from an IT perspective, where the workloads and a lot of the work was sitting internally within, within uh, the IT systems. So a lot more of edge computing is going to be required, both for businesses and for workplaces as well. So overall, I think it's fair to say that it's um, having a profound impact uh, on the way we uh, connect and the way we keep informed. It's helping our productivity, it's really transforming the way we live, work and play. When you look at the fifth generation 5G of these wireless technologies, um, what do you see as the big advantages here of 5G and which are the, the industries that will be most impacted by the 5G revolution? So if I look at 5G, right, as a technology, it's really an extension of the previous technologies that we've had in the mobile uh, connectivity space. But I think the biggest benefits that uh, particularly enterprises um, are to gain from this technology is really around being able to, to ensure that the connectivity that they have around the edge computing component um, is a lot more enhanced. So we'll see a higher latency, I mean, lower latencies um, that will enable a lot of IoT applications. If we look at the way that we're operating currently, there's a lot of applications that are booming in the IoT space. So with that, you obviously need a, a reliable, uh, high capacity kind of um, transport layer that would enable uh, businesses to operate. Now, some of the key industries that we've seen taking, um, you know, leveraging on these kind of benefits, um, are predominantly in the mining industry, where there's a high focus around ITOT convergence, uh, in the logistics and industrial areas as well, because a lot of the work that's actually happening in the warehouses um, is it requires that that amount of, of, of flexibility, you know, in terms of being able to to utilize those um, IoT use cases yeah. to to uh, for business efficiency. So we're seeing a lot of that, and you know, it's it's amazing what the technology can do. Um, looking at some of the areas that we work in because they're quite, uh, you know, they, they, they're quite out there. So for example, it can work under extreme temperatures as well as, you know, uh, long range as well. Yeah, and uh, you know, we're having a conversation about the mine of the future on the show the other day. And it's just amazing mm -hmm. how using 5G technologies in very remote locations, um, you can bring miners from underground where it's hot, it's unsafe, it's cramped, difficult to work, and they can now operate the, a lot of the heavy machinery remotely thanks to this technology. Where it really is set to transform things. In the South African context, obviously, energy is, is quite an important consideration given load shedding, and I believe energy efficiency is another big advantage of 5G. But what do you see as the big benefits uh, in terms of 5G networks for uh, operating in the South African context today? So if we look in the South African context, you're quite right. Um, if we look at the, our landscape as it stands today, right, um, a lot of the technology proliferation is predominantly in the urban areas. Mm. Now, if you look at, um, you know, in terms of um, our actual um, growth in, in, the, in the urban areas, it hasn't been as prevalent as what we would like to be. And one of the advantages is that, you know, with private 5G networks, we are able to provide that kind of capability within those areas 
obviously looking at how you know we would then need to to be able to backhaul this information back into the centers so for uh, mining as an example um, you know they tend to be in those outside uh, outskirts kind of areas so it enables them like quite rightly as you speak uh, michael to provide a remote control um, center control but there are other use cases as well such as looking at surveillance at the actual mines themselves there's an opportunity for them to look at uh, proximity detection, you know, from a safety perspective on site as well, as a, a whole lot of other use cases around people tracking, you know, and, and fatigue detection type of systems. Mm. Now, you know, obviously, when we're connecting all of our assets inside of an organization, you, you worry about security, and we hear so much about cyber risks. So can you just explain mm. the transition here from so-called Wi-Fi 6 to private 5G? Because you can actually have private networks develop. Yeah, you absolutely can have private uh, networks, both on the, on the Wi-Fi 6 and on the 5G technologies. But uh, we've obviously seen that in terms of the, the IoT capability that um, Wi-Fi 6 has been able to provide, 5G enhances that greatly, right? Um, to enable um, uh, users, obviously, from an IoT perspective, to be able to grapple with that capacity that's required uh, with a number of, of devices interacting with that network. From a security perspective, um, we obviously need to look at the number of devices, uh, the actual network itself, as well as the links that we have to be able to provide that. Uh, and there's opportunities, I think, in that particular space to develop a, a lot of applications around making sure that we drive that more holistically. Um, if I look at um, just um, speaking about energy efficiency as well, some of the other um, wireless technologies that uh, are coming out quite strongly now, uh, interesting enough, is also satellite, right? So if we wow. speak about remote areas and we look at um, having, for example, a private um, 5G kind of environment, we're able to use the satellite technologies to be able to provide cellular backhaul for that. But also with the new LEO satellite technologies that are coming through, we're seeing a lot more acceptance around the latency, looking at less than 100 milliseconds, and wow. also them being able to, 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 to cater for a lot of more of the IoT capabilities, right? So lots happening in the wireless space in terms of the technology and the growth, and it's really aligned with uh, some of the challenges that we're facing as a, as a yeah. uh, country today. Yeah, and it, help, it helps you leapfrog some of those infrastructure challenges. Uh, Leo, there's another TLA, and I always talk about these three-letter acronyms, <laughs> uh, Low Earth Orbit. Uh, I know I'm a Leo just because I'm born in August, but I know it means something entirely <laughs> different in our context. But it's just remarkable. I mean, if you think about what you can do with this, I was chatting to Distel the other day, and Richard Rushton um, stood up in 2018 and said, right, we're a wine spirits inside a business, but actually I want us to become a digital business. And what did that mean for yep. Distel? Well, it, it means things like IoT devices, monitoring and optimizing the supply chain, tracking inventory through COVID, you know, when you're operating the one day and not operating the next. So what do you see as the big opportunities for South African businesses to leverage from 5G and uh, LEO? So you're quite right, Michael. I think uh, a lot of businesses have started to realize that uh, all businesses really need to consider being a digital business. So with the advent of COVID and everything starting to move more online, there's been a, a huge requirement for most businesses to start thinking about themselves as a, as a digital business. So in terms of being able to leverage some of these advantages, right? Um, customers today are wanting, obviously, quicker turnaround times. Customers are wanting to also have a sense of experience around touching and feeling and experiencing some of the products without necessarily being in the same physical space as them. There's also opportunity when uh, cust uh, clients are working online to start being able to engage with customers closer because of the detail, the amount of detail that you can get through the data that they provide. So this gives clients the opportunity to start creating bespoke solutions uh, for the customers because of the engagements uh, that are higher when people are online as, as, as opposed to in the physical space. Because if you think about it, Michael, if you decide to go shopping today, there's really an amount of time that you set out for yourself to be out in the mall. But mm -hmm. with the amount of time that people are spending more and more online, they don't realize that that, that amount of time is actually engaging with the different potential uh, businesses that, they, you know, that are, are available online today. Yeah, and I, I'm finding myself online shopping more and more. And the ability now, mm -hmm. if you think about what this uh, new technology provides, maybe to try 
a pair of sneakers or a jacket on virtually and to be able to slip it on in, in a kind of avatar world to see if it fits uh, rather than just having a look at a 2D image. All of this really exciting, really um, uh, it speaks to businesses having to embrace this because if you're not, I'm sure your competitors are and uh, you're falling further behind. No, thank you very much for joining us today. It's been great having you on the show to share your insights into the fascinating world of wireless access technologies and how businesses can really leverage these to create value. Take care. Thank you, Michael.